Well, the teams are out. Uh, there have been rumours that Steve Jones has left Telford uh, to go to Nantwich Town. Well, I can tell you that uh, he's not playing for Nantwich today and he's not included in their squad. But there are rumours doing uh, the rounds. The buck said today that Steve Jones, the club's leading scorer, has left. But as far as we can find out so far, he isn't featuring for Nantwich Town today. Well, there's just one change for Telford today, and that is Luke Cubbins coming in to the right-back position in place of Will Salmon, who is dropped to the bench. I think that Mark Cooper believes that Salmon was to blame for the first goal that Telford conceded against Hyde. Well, the captains have met inside the centre circle. We're just a few moments away from the start of this game, live on 96FM, on DAB and online, as uh, it's going to be Tamworth to get us underway. The referee for today's game is John Hopkins. Telford will be kicking from our left to right in this first half. Them if they could get the early goal. Charlie Henry going across to take uh, the corner. I've been impressed with Henry in the, uh, the game and the bit that he's played since coming in. He looks to have a bit of quality about him and good delivery as well. Especially the first half against Hyde, yeah, he looked very good. Here he is, right-footed, a low ball in, not away properly, headed clear by Marcus Kelly. Telford win it back just in front of the halfway line. Good atmosphere here today. Here's Hubbins now, who takes it on down the right channel, whips it in early. The ball falling short, though, as Dwayne Courtney heads it clear. And Telford look to win it back in midfield. Carlton Watson, who stays up, toe pokes it back to Smith, and then he looks to dink it into the Tamworth box, but it's picked up by the keeper. Yes. Good interception in defence for Telford by Hubbins, who now plays it long, looking for Reed. It's over his head, and again through towards the Tamworth goalie. As my summariser, Steve Humbles, alongside me, Nick Southall, shakes his head here on BBC Radio Shops here on 96FM. Go on. We'll just break off his Cunnington, and it's a goal, it's been finished off, and it's a very soft goal, it's right in the end who scores it. Well, what were Telford doing? Gave it away, and now they argue amongst each other. A simple long ball forward, Tommy Wright gets on the end of it, a flick on from Cunnington, and Wright strikes it past Ryan Young. Tamworth take the lead. 20 minutes gone in this game, our live game here on 96FM, the home of Eric and Claire at breakfast. Telford against Tamworth, Telford a goal behind, Smith thinks it in, the header there from Trainer loops over Breeden's bar. It's a decent ball in by Smith, in towards the near post. Trainer though, looking to guide it into the top left-hand corner, got too much underneath it, side to Hubbins. And now Watson in defence, goes for a long ball again, Reed nods it down to Craney, Craney onto his left foot, can't get a shot in. And again, Tamworth living dangerously, they are sitting deep, Steve. Yeah, they are. Great response from Telford here. 25 minutes gone. Another high ball from Hubbins this time from Telford's right. Breeden catches it, though. It is at the home of Telford on the airwaves. 96 FM, BBC Radio Shropshire. Free kick, almost like a short corner. Headed goalwards by Reed. Craney! Equaliser! Ian Craney gets it in from two yards out. It was Reed's header, and Craney somehow managed to poke it past Breeden. And it is what Telford deserve. They do deserve the equaliser. And there is life in this team yet. Craney uh, opens his account for Telford. It's now one all. Well, so the Imps regain the lead at Edgar Street. Free kick for Tamworth into the Telford area. Headers goalwards. Oh, what a goal that is. A superb header. And it's right with his second. Telford again on a set piece. Can't defend properly. Simple free kick. Long ball. Good bullet header from Tommy Wright, his second of the afternoon. And Tamworth regained the lead with, well, about five minutes to go until half-time. Telford need to make sure they keep their heads. They have a throw, this time on the right. Well, if they are to keep making mistakes in defence, the only way to, to go on and win a game is just to score more goals than Tamworth does. Uh, it's as simple as that. Just attack, 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 play higher up the field. There we go at half-time, Telford trail by two goals to one. There's uh, a polite round of applause for the Telford players, but 
no more than that because they are trailing against an average team for me, Townworth. Don't seem to have much apart from Tommy Wright, who scored with two efforts. And so they lead by two goals to one. Well, can Telford get a win here this afternoon? Second half underway here on BBC Radio Shops here on 96FM, on DAB and online. So we're underway. Telford have it in the centre circle with Craney. Back to Hubbins. Just one change at half-time for the Buxton. Here's Charlie Henry, the low knee from Macclesfield. Well, the fans on the far side on the Jack Bentley's terrace are shielding their eyes. Very bright sunlight on the, uh, the opposite side. We are, of course, in the... The big stand, the Sir Stephen Roberts stand. Blue skies around us, free kick for Telford, 2-1 down, heading tight. And missed on the far post by Carlton Watson. He nearly collided with the far post. But it goes wide and it's uh, a chance that goes begging. Rose was in there as well. So Ian Craney to take it. He is Telford's goal scorer, his first for the club. Towards the near post, trainer, goal, trainer header at the near post. Point blank range, Telford 2 all. It was a super corner by Ian Craney. Craney nipped in through a sea of turquoise blue and he heads it past the keeper from point blank range. There is life. Now Telford need to go on and win this game. Another corner here for Tamworth, and it's high drama. 14 minutes to go, plus added on time. Two all the scoreline. Hendry to the near post this time. Free header for Telford. Hubbins heads it clear. Back in from Kelly Vo. Uh, Reed heads it over his own goal. It's in. Tamworth get a third. It came off Jake Reed. It went behind him, and it's been headed in on the far post. It may have been Kelly with the final touch. It's Telford two, Tamworth three. Sums it up, absolutely sums it up, Nick. I just I sit here and I, I'm almost lost for words. They have a throw on the right. The referee's had a decent game today. It's taken quickly into Craney. Craney into the penalty area. He runs into several defenders. Back in, Pedicut! Good save! Follow up! Goal! Equaliser! Pedicut's header, one-handed save, Jake Reed dips in and he blasts it into the back of the net. It's three-all. Well, they needed that and it looked like it had got away from them as well, didn't it? Because it was a lovely floated ball in from Ian Craney. Pennycat ghosted away from the defence more desperately, desperately poor defending from Tamworth. Pennycat six yards out, looked like he had to score. It was a great reaction save from Tony Breeden. Just managed to get his hand down, somehow stopped the ball from going in. But just when he needed a bit of a look, it wasn't there. Finally, Telford had some. Reed got on the end of it, couldn't miss. Three six all. goals this afternoon. It's three all here on BBC Radio Shopshire, the home of Eric Eclair at breakfast. Do not go anywhere. Six minutes have added on time, which we are into now. Five and a half minutes by our stopwatch here. Here's Hubbins, fouled, free kick, and uh, I'm trying to see who it is for Tamworth here. It's Perry, who's uh, booted Luke Hubbins. Yellow card, red card for Perry! Carl Perry sends off! Well, what's he given that for? First of all, he gave him a yellow card, and then he brings out the red card. Must have been for something that Perry said. Two yellow cards within seconds. Carl Perry, against his former club, is sent off. So predictable with him, isn't it? It is so, so predictable. The fans around us have got on their feet. They are waving goodbye to Carl Perry. <laughs> Not allowing Cubbins to come back on. He does now. And still, there may be some time here. Telford need to win it. It's Trainer. Trainer on the halfway line. He advances forward. Telford surging down the left with Henry. Valentine now belting down the line. One last bit of effort. Valentine to the dead ball line. Now he gets it onto his left foot. He's tackled, but he gets it back. Valentine, handball, appeals of handball to the back post. Pedicut now inside the area to Craney to Pedicut on the right edge the Fulham youngster shoots blocks Henry Henry now at the near post blocks as well his shot and now Tamworth get it clear and it's full time 
It's finished three all and Mark Cooper, the Telford manager, jumps on the pitch, picks the ball up and belts it up in the air. He can't believe that his team haven't been able to get this win. Well, we've had it all at the end there, haven't we, Steve? Incredible.